Bienvenidos to 3 Minutes Visis. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Venezuelan green bottle blue tarantula. This Venezuelan beauty has some of the most dramatic coloration of any spider species. Adult green bottles have metallic blue legs, a blue green carapace, and a very vibrant orange abdomen. Ay! Now I know you are probably thinking, oh my god, that poor cricket. Well, since get eaten, get over it. These tarantulas are native to the desert areas of northern Venezuela, where they live in burrows, under brushes and tree roots. No burros, burrows. In their natural habitat, their temperature ranges between 85 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit, but they can sometimes accept temperatures of about 65 degrees at night time if their burrow is deep enough. In the wild, these tarantulas eat small mammals, small lizards, uh, insects, but in captivity they readily accept some crickets, some mealworm, some superworm, uh, maybe some waxworm. Tarantulas are among the more primitive of the spiders. Their fangs point down, unlike the true spiders whose fangs point side to side. Tarantulas have a very impressive set of fangs, as you can see here. Tarantulas lay their characteristic webbing using special organs on their posterior end. These are called spinnerets. This specimen you see here is not an adult. This is a juvenile. You can tell because of the striations on its posterior end. Adult female green bottle blue tarantulas can reach around 6.5 inches. That's a big spider. Like all spiders, tarantulas inject their prey with the venom. This venom acts to digest the prey item outside the body, which then the tarantula drink like the sopa. Soup. Not only do tarantulas possess a very impressive set of fangs. At times, instead of biting, they opt to kick urticating hairs. These are like thousands of porcupine quills that they kick off their abdomen. This man really has bolas. Look at him holding the spider. This crazy. 